everyone, it's Shirley and welcome to my channel. So I've been testing out four products from the VT Cosmetics Pro Gloss line. I have quite some time to test out their products. VT Cosmetics actually reached out to me again to send me more products to review. I did a collab with them a while ago. If you have not checked that out yet, I will link it in the cards above and in the description box below. The Pro Gloss line is all about having a youthful glow, nourishing your skin, and usually that's something that is kind of scary for oily skin people because we like to avoid looking dewy or glowy but since we're in quarantine we're not really going out I don't mind having a dewy face at home and this line is targeted towards people with dull skin the main ingredients in every one of these products is honey plus benone which contains gold honey and idabenone that your skin absorbs quickly deep enough to boost moisture glow and nutrients although I am still quite young so I can't really complain I do think that I look more tired without makeup on. I have dark circles, um, less plumpness in my face. When it comes to hydration, I will gladly take it. So without further ado, let's get right into the products. The first product I have to talk about is the Pro Gloss Foam Cleanser. This is a 10.14 fluid ounce bottle. This is a foaming cleanser with rich micro bubble that cleanses off all the residue without drying your skin and leaves your skin feeling smooth and soft. For me, this is definitely a mild cleanser. If you're someone who wears very minimal makeup, this will take off your base makeup just fine. But if you wear waterproof eye makeup, for example, or a really transfer-proof foundation, you're going to need more than one cleanser to take it off. I actually like to use this cleanser twice, kind of like a double cleanse, because I like a full beat. So my foundation is pretty hard to get off and also my eye makeup it'll just leave like recognized so I need to go in with like an oil cleanser around my eyes I don't think this cleanser claims to be like deep cleaning and like really heavy duty it's like for every day this cleanser is not drying whatsoever it's actually more hydrating than my other VT Cosmetics cleanser that I have which is from their Sika line I think it's called mild foaming cleanser I really like the smell of this it's like a very tiny hint of honey. I love the smell and taste of honey, so I don't mind it at all. It's very mild. It goes away once you wash it off. For fragrance in cleansers, I think it's okay because you're not supposed to leave cleanser on your face for that long. It doesn't irritate my skin, but if fragrance is something that your skin reacts to, just keep that in mind. You get a ton of product. I've been using this cleanser for two to three months, and I still have a lot to go through. If you're looking for a cleanser that doesn't dry out your skin, this is definitely an option for you. The next product I have to talk about is the Pro Gloss Gold Capsule Mask. It comes in these little guys. It just looks like food, right? It looks like honey spread, but you can't eat it. This mask is very cooling. I like products that cool your skin. It's just so soothing and relaxing for me. This mask is a special wash off mask that helps dull and rough skin to look radiant and glowy with nourishing moisture and soothing ingredients. It's supposed to give you a boost of moisture. So the next product is the Pro Gloss Sleeping Mask. It comes in these little guys. Also looks like food, but you also should not eat this. I really like that the packaging is clear. Like you can see the serum inside. This is a honey nourishing sleeping mask that is high in nutrients, will deliver youthful glow to your skin overnight. The thing I've noticed with a lot of sleeping masks is that they tend to stay tacky on your skin while you sleep. I try my best not to put my face on my pillow because I know stuff is gonna stick on it, like lint or hair, so I try very hard to like sleep on my back or just kind of like this. It is a serum, but I feel that it's more liquidy than a normal serum. Like the other sleeping mask in the Zika line from VT Cosmetics is a little bit thicker. The smell is not irritating at all. It doesn't really smell like honey, it smells like jelly. I think that's the best way to describe it. Like borderline lychee jelly, but not really. The smell is very not offensive. I don't even notice it when I have it on my face. When I wake up in the morning, my skin still feels very nourished. It's obviously mixed with my oils by then. It's not irritating at all. I wish that it wasn't so tacky overnight because when I wake up in the morning, I can still feel that it's tacky. And to me, that just feels like it didn't really sink into my skin. I don't. 
I don't know if that's actually the case, but but if it's tacky at night and like eight hours after it seems like it's kind of sitting on your skin The last product I have to talk about is a sheet mask. I only received one so I don't have it right now but i did film some clips in the past when i applied the mask this is a sheet mask with plenty of ampule that contains rich nutrients to give nourishing and moisturizing honey glow to dull and rough skin i've said this before in previous videos but i don't really use sheet masks that often i don't gravitate towards them i prefer to apply masks that you put on and wash off because i don't like the feeling of excess serum or product on my face it just feels so sticky and tacky you're not supposed to wash your face after using a sheet mask but i feel like washing my face after because it just doesn't feel comfortable for me i don't want to be drudged in serum so i didn't really have high expectations for a sheet mask i've used so many sheet masks before and none of them really stood out to me i don't really see the hype i get that they're cheap convenient you just put it on take it off throw it away right i hope that this video was helpful or inspired you to try some products with honey in it because there are a lot of benefits and who knows maybe it could become your favorite ingredient in skincare i didn't really know what to expect but i'm really glad that i had the opportunity to try these products because honey is such a great ingredient in general also a side note honeybees are blockbee's mascot any bbc's in the house yes nobody asked if anyone is interested in purchasing any of the products for yourself i will link everything in the description box as always i hope you all have been doing well stay safe out there and i will see you in the next one bye